In Loudoun County, this is the wealthiest county in the country. There's not a lot of racism. There are silly people that say stupid things, but if you talk about it less, you're gonna notice that division less. I've seen what the, the training looks like. They call it culturally responsive training. It is definitely racist. They are putting down the child for the color of their skin. Where do you see evidence of that? One particular sixth grade at a middle school here, it was a rap song pushing the slaughter of the Native Americans. The lyrics of the song was putting down Andrew Jackson at the time. Well, I mean, I think a lot of people would credit Andrew Jackson with the genocide of yes, the Native population. Yes, but how do you discuss it without Denigrating whiteness. Yeah. Like, at what point do you forgive and stop segregating? I mean, and then I, it becomes less like, about merit. Yeah. And it becomes more about, oh, we got to give the people of color this advantage. Let's keep feeling sorry for them. But I don't look at the person based on their skin color. I look at them based on their character. Can I just interrupt for, sure. for one thing? Because I, I think there are a lot of, there, there are probably plenty of people that would agree with exactly that. But just to be fair on the other side, there are people, especially young black men, for example, who would say, I would love to not be judged on the color of my skin. Do you think it's more on the color of their skin or their actions? How they're dressed, how they perceive, how they respect others? If you have a kid that's pulled over by a cop, does it really matter what color they are or is, is it the respect that they give to that police officer? I guess I'm just trying to get a sense of whether you guys think it is just a better idea to not talk about racism? In schools, shouldn't that be up to the parents to teach that to their children rather than let the, the teacher? Let's just use slavery as an example because that keeps coming up in critical race theory. The tricky thing is that slavery was a racial construct, yeah. right? People yeah. were persecuted and enslaved because they were a certain race. So how do you teach about slavery if you're not going to talk about race? I'm a parent, I'm not an educator. Yeah. So Glenn Youngkin's your guy. Yes. He doesn't want to push this racism narrative. He wants to give kids a good education. Education has become the flashpoint across the country. You know why? Well, yeah, tell me. You don't mess with our kids. 